So today I am finally getting round to doing my Spooky Box Club unboxing. I just wanted to add in, I'm sorry if it's a tiny bit noisy, but I do have my fan on just because it is so hot in England at the moment. So this box arrived around two or three weeks ago and I have to say I did get a ton of spoilers when this box came out. I've even seen like spoilers on like their official Instagram pages and things. So I already kind of know what's in here. That's kind of one of the reasons I've been putting off opening it just because I've kind of lost that initial kind of surprise element. But I still thought I would save it to open on camera with you. First thing I'm noticing is that my box has got a little bit damaged so I'm really hoping that everything inside is okay. Now this is the Elegant Fripperies box. I really like the sticker, I like the very kind of simplistic look to it and of course I love the little bats and stars around the writing. From what I can tell from what I quickly googled about this box when it first came out that they were doing this theme, the Elegant fripperies kind of means things which are highly decorated. So I was sort of expecting more homeware items, but from what I've seen, this box is kind of mainly jewelry pieces this time round. So straight up on top, we have the cheat sheet. And then there is noodlies and there is quite a lot of them this time. You can almost tell what sort of things are gonna come up in the box, depending on the amount of these noodlies that you get. Although I know what's in here, I'm still gonna kind of go in blind as such. So the first thing which I've pulled out is this, which is a choker of some type. I am gonna try this choker on just because I've had a few people saying that it didn't fit them. So I do kind of wanna make sure that it fits me okay. So it's on this white piece of card. It says Spooky Box Club at the top. And then it's just a kind of plain black velvet choker. It's got these kind of little silver details and this sort of ribbon. Now, it seems like there's holes all the way down here. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of make a corseted effect with this choker. When I was watching Ashling O'Neill's video, she did mention that the actual um, ribbon itself did kind of come off black on her fingers, but my one seems to be okay for now, so I'm quite pleased with that. As for size, obviously you can make this sort of whatever size you'd like. So this is kind of what it looks like when I place it around my neck. I don't have like the largest neck ever. Generally don't have any issues with chokers or anything that I buy but if I'm to wear this comfortably it would be positioned like this so that the silver bits are around there. The only other option kind of would be to wear it the other way around but I don't think it has as nice effect as what these kind of silver bits are creating. If these silver bits were to come kind of closer, I would have done more of like a corseted effect at the front, but I'm not sure how well that's gonna look. So I'm still gonna try it. I'm not sure if there's gonna be really enough ribbon to do that. So I guess with this, you could potentially use that as some kind of bracelet. But what I think I will do with mine, since I doubt I will be wearing it as a choker is I may see if I can make it into a sort of hair piece and have it like that and then tie the string around the outside. Now already I've come across a little bit of an issue with this which I'm slightly disappointed with. So here is like the decorative edge of it and this ribbon is meant to go through those holes but because of the style of this ribbon it doesn't really have like a clean edge so putting it through this hole is pretty impossible um the only kind of way i feel like you could do this was potentially to get like a needle and thread to put this through because honestly it just really does not want to go through that hole so that's slightly disappointing so i'm not able to actually thread it through right now and make it into a hair piece so uh, i have to say i'm not the greatest fan of this Spooky Box Club piece. I do really like the kind of effect that they were going for, but I feel like if they just made this kind of velvet bit slightly longer and maybe got a better quality ribbon, it may have worked slightly better. So the next thing in this box is 
the lolly now this lolly is red and pink i'm thinking from the color that this may be watermelon so let us see i definitely feel like there's an almost kind of artificial melon flavor to this but it doesn't have that really kind of distinct flavor that some of these lollies do have if i was like blindfolded i probably wouldn't be able to tell you what this flavor is but it tastes like a very kind of generic rock sweet flavor so it's just very sort of sweet it's definitely not my favorite lolly that we've had but it still does taste nice so i will be coming back to eating that later <clears throat> so the next thing in here feels quite heavy and it's in an organza bag and this is one of the necklaces i have to say i do actually quite like the look of this necklace the only thing i'd say about their necklaces and i do actually have one here from the blood moon box is that they're definitely not like everyday use necklaces i wore this necklace every day for like a week and a half and though one half of it's still sort of shiny the other half has gone this really horrible like tarnished rusty color you can like visibly see the difference and also the chain isn't quite as shiny as it used to be. I definitely say with their necklaces, they're not sort of everyday pieces. Um, however, I feel like because this skull is slightly larger, it probably wouldn't be the sort of necklace I'd be wearing every single day. But I feel like it will fit quite nicely with some outfits. So it is just this silver skull. There's quite a lot of detail. Um, he's missing a couple of his teeth, I'm pretty sure. And got quite sort of over-exaggerated features. He is hollow inside. Although he's quite large in size and he has a nice weight to him, he's not sort of too heavy. On this little ring that connects him onto the chain, it says SBC for Spooky Box Club. And it's on the sort of regular chain which they put all of the rest of their jewellery on. So as usual, I'm going to put this on and see how it sits. I did sort of hope that maybe these necklaces were going to be sterling silver um, and then sort of at the least maybe stainless steel but after looking at the crescent moon one it's pretty obvious to see that they're definitely sort of made out of a cheaper material. So this is what the skull one looks like when it's on. It's a pretty kind of central size. I'd say this is probably on about a 16 inch chain. Um, it does kind of hang forward a little bit so that's quite good because you can't actually see this sort of hollow part but this bit sort of sits pretty like flush to your chest i feel like it sits pretty nicely it does have a slight tendency to roll onto its side but i feel like when you're moving about anyway it's just going to sort of sort itself out i'm wondering if potentially if i put it on a slightly tighter chain it would sit so that the kind of skull faced outwards more than sort of down um but i do like this necklace and i feel like i'll probably get some sort of use out of it whether it be as a necklace or as a charm on something i'm not too sure yet but i'm sure i can find some sort of use for it so the next thing in this box is wormies so there is like a whole other section of wormies right at the bottom of this box i always find that slightly disappointing because that definitely means that there's not that much kind of substantial objects i've pulled out another organza bag with a different necklace in it this is the bone necklace it definitely seems a lot heavier and a lot sturdier than I expected, so I'm really pleased with this. It does seem to also be made out of the same kind of material as the other one, so again, I wouldn't wear this as an everyday necklace. It is a very simplistic little bone charm. I do quite like this. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this as a necklace or if I use it for something else. It has a regular moving attachment on this sort of same chain that they put all of their jewelry on which does have like a little extension chain if you do want to make it longer or shorter i'm going to put this on the longest setting because i feel like this is going to be the kind of necklace which i would layer with other things and i'd probably have it as sort of my longest necklace rather than one that sits like further up my chest so both the bone and the skull necklaces are on the longest setting for the chain so whereas i'd say this one is probably a 16 inch chain i'd say this one is probably slightly closer to an 18 inch chain so you can wear them together although it looks <laughs> slightly weird with them stacked so close together um but this one is quite a nice necklace it does sit really really nicely and also i feel like because of like the design of the pendant it doesn't really matter 
matter which way round it falls it's kind of obvious that it is a bone again this does have a little bit of weight to it it's not as weighty as this skull one is but it does have a nice weight to it and I feel like I'll probably be able to incorporate this into some of like my jewelry combinations I feel like it probably goes quite nicely with my tooth necklace as well from Simply Gothic I feel like it's kind of the same sort of theme almost um but yes I have to say I was kind of disappointed in these necklaces when I did see them originally but now that I've kind of got them and felt them I am slightly more happy as I said I will not be wearing them as an every single day necklace because they probably will tarnish um but they definitely seem to be a nice enough quality so next up in this box I have to say there is like a ton of wormies I can hardly find anything is this which kind of the larger item in this pack and this is actually a what do they call it a diy graveyard jewelry hanger ready to paint stain or customize so i have to say when i saw this i was pretty excited it's something completely different to what they've had before and i do really like the diy bits that they've put in here so it comes in three parts you've got your wooden graveyard scene you've got a little pack of screws and also a little ribbon for hanging this up with the sticker is pretty self-explanatory and the actual kind of free hanger backing itself is of this sort of graveyard scene it is made out of a really thin almost plywood and by the looks of it this will no way ever hold my jewelry i have got two fully like proper brass and steel jewelry hooks which are hanging up in my room because i have a ridiculous amount of necklaces and if i put even like 10 of my necklaces on here i'm pretty sure it would snap although it is this really nice sort of detailed design it doesn't have that much strength just because the main body of it is sort of here at the bottom although it is this really nice sort of detailed design it doesn't have that much strength just because the main body of it is sort of here at the bottom I do feel it looks pretty boring like this so I will be painting mine but I'm going to put it together and see exactly what it's like for you so you know sort of exactly what we're getting. So it comes with a piece of pink ribbon, I definitely will be changing this but for the sake of doing this DIY I'm going to actually use what they've given us. Already I'm starting to think I'm probably going to have that same issue as the choker which is this piece of ribbon the way it's been cut and the fact it has like no definite end to it it doesn't really go through the hole that easily so I'm slightly disappointed by that there's just no way this is going to fit through this hole without having to sort of get a large needle so I think I'm going to leave that bit out for the sake of science I'm going to use a piece of red wool to go through with this I know it's not the strongest material but it's what I have to hand and I think it's definitely going to be a lot easier to thread than the ridiculous little ribbon that they gave us so that quite easily went through the holes at the top I think when I'm actually making this properly I may use a bit of black sort of pleather cord or something along those lines. I think that's a bit thicker, maybe sort of this kind of cord that I use for my necklaces. That's what I generally use to like hang up my pictures and things on the wall. So I'm not too sure what the best way to hang this would be because if you kind of tie it like that you do end up with a line. So what I'd probably do is make it sort of doubly thick so if, so if I tie a knot sort of of the two ends together which probably won't be seen anyway because it will be kind of on a hook but if I put this knot at the top and then I also take this as well I think it probably is the strongest and most effective way of hanging this just because you've then got like double thickness string and it's probably going to be a lot more sort of durable when you're actually hanging heavy jewelry on there I'm not sure what kind of jewelry they think we have but the majority of my jewelry is very big and heavy and probably would just snap as soon as I put it on here so maybe I can use this for bracelets or something inside the other bag there are these little screw in hooks so hopefully there's enough for each of the holes but right at the bottom I'm going to make this the front of my hanger just because there's like a slight strange irregularity in the wood on that side so these should just screw in to these holes I've been trying for the past 10 minutes and put one of these little screws in and it just doesn't seem to want to work at all all that it's done is if you look at this hole it's really kind of clean and sharp it's just kind of mushed this hole up and just made it look 
really horrible because the holes are just too small and the material isn't really correct for screwing these in. That is as far as I can get it in. It just won't work honestly i think i'm gonna give up now before this drives me insane but i am really really disappointed because if i put anything on that it would just fall straight out it is such a shame because i feel like the idea of this is really nice it's just they didn't kind of put the money into getting the best quality items to make it i think what i'm gonna do is because firstly these screws don't go in but also it's gonna be way too like fragile to actually hold any necklaces i think i'm gonna probably at some point decorate this and then use these holes to like hang things to make it more like a wind chime rather than trying to force these little hooks in but it's such a shame because i can see the kind of idea that they were going for but i feel like they probably didn't really test it out before they kind of mass produced it and put it in all of our boxes if i remember there's still a couple of items in here i'm gonna take out the rest of these noodlies so in the these two little organza bags there are little charms i am going to sell these charms just because i have completely mislaid my charm bracelet and i just don't really have much use for them but the first one is a little black teardrop very similar to the blood moon one although this one is black rather than red it's kind of like one of your sort of diamond cut stones in there and it has a silver back to it and it's on your regular little clasp and the second one is a little rose now i do quite like this one just because my middle name is rose and i just generally like the flower it's one of my favorite flowers but i'm just not really digging the design and i feel like someone else would probably like it more than i would on the back it says SBC for Spooky Box Club it does have a lot of detail and things within it but i will be selling this on my depop now the thing that I've been looking forward to the most is this pin. This is probably my favourite thing that's come in this box and it is a death head moth pin. I do really like death head moths um, and I haven't got any pins with them on and I'm really pleased to see that it does actually have something sort of resembling a skull on its back because I was kind of worried that it was just going to be like an actual plain moth it's kind of in that sort of gun metal color with your regular pin back to it there's lots of sort of details within its wings and its body and then although the skull isn't really that present to me it almost looks like there's a jack-o-lantern instead of a skull which of course i'm gonna like even more but hopefully you can see the tiny little bit of detail that's on its back just there in the middle and it does have that kind of zigzag line that kind of reminds me of a pumpkin mouth as always i've got my pin jacket here with all my various different spooky box club pins on here so i'm gonna put this on and see how it sits i'm sure it's gonna sit really nice and flat because it is just a very sort of simple design if any of you haven't seen yet i have actually just started doing a new subscription service which is a pin scription where I get various different like pins through each month just because I am sort of trying to build my pin collection and I do really like these pins that we're getting from Spooky Box Club so I just couldn't resist a sort of subscription service that's going to send me pins each month. Here is the Spooky Box Club um, moth pin, it sits really nicely, it's quite a nice size, it's sort of in keeping with all of their other sort of pins that they've made. I feel like it fits in with my collection really nicely. It sits nice and flush and genuinely I am really pleased with this month's pin. So the last thing I got in this box is a print and I am really not a big fan of this print at all. It's very pastel. If it had a black background, I probably would have liked it a lot more. I am very sort of selective with my Spooky Box Club pins. I have got a few up behind my bed, but generally I don't tend to kind of put many on display. Now, when I first saw that there was kind of a crystal themed print, I was quite excited because I do collect a lot of crystals and I have like quite a large collection and I don't have very many prints and things around them so I thought maybe it could be something I could put with my crystals but although it is a crystal print it's very light in colour and generally I just don't feel like it fits in. So other than that we've got some hollow stars in there and a few kind of pastel bats which you can't go wrong with bat confetti. I have to say this is probably one of my least favourite boxes that we've ever got and I think that's because I feel like it's just missing something. Um, I am going to check this just to make sure I did get everything. Yeah, so I did get everything that was in this box. It just still feels like to me that it's just 
missing some kind of larger item. I understand that the larger item was meant to be this jewelry hanger. Because it's kind of a little bit of a flop, it just doesn't really kind of meet that sort of larger spooky need. When we think back to some of the boxes we've got, we've got like three pillow cushions in one box before. We've got bags, we've got like the wooden coffin shelf, like all these things seem really, really good value for money when you're paying £25 a month. But getting a box like this, which has a few pieces of jewellery and a print and then a jewellery hanger that doesn't really work and isn't of the best quality, it does kind of make me wonder whether or not I'm getting back what I'm paying. I, I have to admit I have had a few issues with Spooky Box Club over the past couple of months. I've been suspended, I've been blocked, my account has been cancelled and it's nothing that I've like personally done, it's to do with their actual website and things. So I've been having a few issues with them and after this box I am considering just calling it quits and saying maybe we've had our run with Spooky Box Club because things do seem to be going downhill quite rapidly. Of course you do pay sort of ahead of time as such, so I still have a few boxes on the way. This has been the second or third month in a row where we haven't got any fabric items or anything sort of that large and substantial, so I'm definitely going to say if there's nothing in the next two boxes that I'm getting which is like fabric or like substantial or something that just really kind of sparks my interest and is like spooky as such rather than just general things you can find on like AliExpress and things then I probably will be unscribing from this which I'm kind of really sad about because I do really enjoy doing these unboxes and I can tell from your comments that you also like watching them so we'll have to see hopefully fingers crossed they're just having a little bit of a dry patch and they'll be getting back into the spooky goodness soon so thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye